In this video, I'm going to show you how to add some background information before you start your project. We're going to go through adding GIS layers, importing ground models, changing the properties and themes, and committing the changes to the master database. We'll first add some GIS layers to the background to get our bearings. Right click in the Geo plan and go to GIS layer control. Click on the add button and go to the raw data folder and find the road crown and use the control key to click the surface materials. If we select the surface materials, you'll see that the projection is already populated. If we go to properties, we can change the display of the surface materials. I'm going to choose no fill and under the border tab, change it to magenta. Now we're going to add the aerial. You'll need to select the raster from the drop down menu. You'll see that the aerial is currently on the top, which means that it's set as the priority. We'll need to move this down so that we can see the other two shape files on top. To focus the geo plan in the right location, we right click and go to view entire GIS layer. Select the aerial and click OK. It's a good idea to have a look at the X and Y to make sure that we're in the right location. Next we're going to add the topography or the ground model. To do this we right click on the storm tutorial and go to import ground model grid from ground model grid files. In the LiDAR folder, you'll have four ASCII files. We just select those four and click open. We give the grid a name, select meters for the elevation, and then change the integer to floating point. The reason we don't use integer is this doesn't have any decimal points in the Z values. This might be enough detail if we're modeling, say, the whole of Queensland. But for these smaller models, we really want some decimal points. So we're going to click floating. Once the ground model has imported, you'll see the ground object appear under the storm tutorial and we simply just drag that into the geo plan. To display the ground model, we right click and go to properties and themes. And down the bottom, we check on the display ground model. The default theme we have for the ground model tells us absolutely nothing about the elevations, but only the extent of the ground model. To change this, we go back to the Properties and Themes and edit the theme. We can select from Transparent, Filled or Show the Layers. I'm going to keep it on Transparent. And we can type in the different numbers that we want and we can change the colours of the theme. What I'm going to do is use one that I've already defined is part of my transportable files we imported earlier on. Find the theme for ground elevations and drag it into the geo plan. Now we can see the elevations with the colour coordination. And if we go to the thematic key, we can have a look at the ground elevation legend. Now that we have our background files added to our project, it's a good idea to commit the changes. The project is saving along the way, but we need to commit to the master database. To do this, we right click on the urban network and commit the changes. You'll see the settings that have been changed. It's a good idea to give, give a detailed comment of what we've done. I use this as a model log file or a project log file to keep track of what I'm doing and where I'm up to in a project. We can always go back to this version later on as well. Click OK. We don't need to validate the network because we don't really have any objects in there worth validating.